Hey guys, it's Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about all of the things that I bought from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. If you don't know what that is, a couple weeks ago Ulta had a huge sale. Um, every single day there was a different sale going on on amazing, amazing products. Everything was up to 50% off that I bought. And um, I it was on a no-buy, but I went off of my no-buy for this sale, and then now I'm back on a no-buy. This sale has ended. Like I said, it was about two weeks ago, but I am finally getting to film this for you guys, and I really, really wanted to share what I got before using it. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. Okay, so I was keeping all of the stuff in this Victoria's Secret bag. I ordered everything from online, so everything was coming in different um, times. So that's why I was waiting to do this video as well, because everything came in such different times like I said. But the first things that I bought were, I put them in this bag. This is from Buxom, as you can see, and it was a free gift with purchase. So um, I thought it was adorable and very much my aesthetic, so I'm very excited. So in here I put um, my samples. Um, so the first thing that is in here are some Buxom glosses, which is why I got the um, bag. So these are usually 20 something dollars. Um, these are the Buxom full on lip creams and I got these for 10 bucks. So I'm super super happy about that. Um, this first one is in the shade Creamsicle. Um, before I bought all of these I watched a lot of people's videos about what they recommend and all that stuff like that because I've never tried any of these before but I've heard a lot of good things so there is creamsicle so I'm really really excited about this this is seems like a perfect spring slash summer color so I'm really really excited to check that out the next one of three that I got was White Russian. Now, this one has been hyped up so much. I thought the sale would be the perfect time to get this. And a lot of other beauty YouTubers um, swear by this one as well. These also have a slight plumping effect. So I'm interested to try out how that works out um, and if they're going to be kind of like the Too Faced ones where they sting really badly or if they're going to be okay. So this one is a perfect nude as you can see. Definitely, definitely excited about that. This seems like an everyday wear kind of one. You can see why people love it already. Um, and then the last color that I got was Bellini. And as you can see, I went for more neutral ones just because that's, I knew that that's what I would be wearing. I have a lot of lip colors that are brighter already, and I don't wear them very often. So as you can see, like I said, these are all very, very similar, but all gorgeous colors and I got the three of them for $30 so I technically only bought not eat, like one and a half of these so it was crazy the next thing that is in here I bought one of the Butter London Glazen Eye Gloss and I've never heard of these until I saw them on the Ulta website um, and I got mine in Frosted, which is a really pretty rose gold color. I thought that that would be the best bet for me just because I'm obsessed with rose gold. So I love this packaging. I'm not a very big pot type of person, like for packaging, but I will definitely try it out. It has, oh my goodness, okay. So this is going to be really, really pigmented. I can already tell. I'm just going to get a little bit from the... Holy moly, you guys. Okay, so... I don't know exactly how you're supposed to use this on your eye. <laughs> that is crazy. If you can see that, it's on my hand as well. 
That is so pretty. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like really, really excited. I need to maybe look up some tutorials on how to use this. I'm really, really excited to dip into that. That color is gorgeous. I obviously got a lot right there, but I only did as much had come off from the um, top. And then there's some on my finger as well. And then I also um, needed a primer and wanted to try a new primer. So, um, when I saw that the Bare Minerals primers were on sale, I wanted to get one. And so I decided to get the um, Bare Minerals Prep Step Broad, Broad Spectrum 50 Mineral Shield Daily Prep Lotion. I wanted to get this one over any of their other ones just because this one I've heard a lot of good things about. And you can use this as a primer before your makeup or you can also, because it has sunscreen, um, you are able to use it as just by itself as a moisturizer and as a lotion for your day if you're not wearing any makeup like I am today. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited to try this out. And again, it was half off, I believe, or close to half off. So I thought it was the perfect time to try all of these things that I've been really, really wanting lately. So that's everything that I had been storing in this little buxom bag. So the next things that I bought were two of the Too Faced La Flush um, blushes. You probably saw these in the thumbnail. I've been wanting these for a very, very long time and I've waited so long to get them, but they're usually $30 and I just couldn't wrap my hand or wrap, wrap my head around spending that much money on them. So I waited until the sale and I got them for half off. So pretty much got the two of them for the same price as the one, which I'm very, very excited about. So um, the two that I picked up were Baby Love. It looks like this. Um, just a very natural blush. Again, I'm very, I love wearing natural makeup, um, but I heard that these are really good for building up as well, and they're very pigmented, and I felt like also that they would be perfect, again, for the upcoming spring and summer, just because of the prettiness of them and the neutralness, so that is baby love and I'm obsessed with the packaging you guys if you don't know Too Faced is definitely one of my favorite brands for makeup I have all of their chocolate bar palettes um, and all of that so I'm obsessed so I got that one and then I also got I Will Always Love You again a super natural um, really really pretty blush I'm obsessed with these you guys I now want the rest of them. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get the rest of them, but I will figure it out. It's definitely on my list of things that I want to get in the near future. So the next thing that I bought was the It Cosmetics Your Skin Put Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And, um, again, I've never tried this before. I bought mine in the shade Fair. I hope it's a good match. Um, it's always hard to match colors online, especially if it's not a line that you've ever bought from before. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to check this out and test it out. I've never used this before, but again, heard really good things. So, And then, second to last, I picked up the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, again, never tried it, but it's a very hyped up product, so wanted to test it out for half off. And lastly, the, my big... Splurge. I've been wanting to get a Clarisonic for a really long time now, but they're just so much money. And they had a really, really good sale on 
this one. So I ended up picking up the Mia 2 and I am really, really excited to test it out. So if you guys want me to do like a, um, maybe like a skincare routine with it or anything like that, let me know. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to test it out and happy that I was able to pick it up at the sale. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up at the sale. Let me know what you guys got and what you think of everything that you've if you have used it so far. And yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.